Hello everyone, welcome to ChemGuru. In this session, I wanted to provide you all interesting questions that were ever asked from Spinals in CSIR, NET or GIT. Although I will provide you a brief theory of the concerned topic, but in the later half of the video, I will be providing you some interesting questions. This video will uh, this video will be completed in itself and you don't need to consult any book for Spinals now, but be sure to practice as many as questions you can from the previous year papers. So the general formula for the spinals is AB2X4 where A is a divalent cation, B is a trivalent cation and X could be any anion in the form of O, sulfur or selenium. This could be a transition metal or a group 2 metal or a transition metal or a group 3 metal. Since the, uh, in the basic theory is that uh, the oxide and forms closed packed cubic lattice with 8 tetrahedral holes and 4 octahedral holes per molecules of AB2X2 since uh, we will we will be given a formula like this Fe2O4 and we will be asked in the examination whether it is an inverse spinal or a normal spinal for that purpose what you need to do is you need to do you need to find the CFSE I hope you are a postgraduate and you know how to find CFSE if the CFSE for the plus 3 cation plus 3 cation you can see from here the B is the plus 3 and A is the divalent cation so if the CFSE for the plus 3 cation is greater then this is a normal spinal if the CFSE for the plus 2 cation is greater then this is an inverse spinal so in this case if we see the CFSE for plus 2 cation plus 2 iron is D6 configuration would be uh, would be 0 0.8 del naught and for plus 3 D5 it would be 0 hence the mod of CFSE for plus 2 is greater than the mod of CFSE for plus 3 so it would be an inverse spinal from this condition See, for normal spinals, the dicatan occupies tetrahedral side and the trivalent cation occupies octahedral sides. Since we know in any closed packed cubic lattice, there are 8 tetrahedral voids and 4 octahedral voids. Therefore, the tetrahedral voids are smaller than the octahedral voids. So, if it is a normal spinal, the plus 2 cation will, uh, will be occupying the tetrahedral void. So, for a plus 2 cation, it would be small and it would be occupying the tetrahedral void then it would be a normal spinal now let us discuss some interesting questions first question is a very simple question like an uh, ni fe 2 4 from this we know the fe would be present in plus 2 oxidation state and this would be present in plus 3 oxidation state we will calculate the cfse and it comes out to be this from this we get uh, the cfse for plus 2 cation is greater the cfse for the plus 2 cation is greater therefore it would be an inverse spinal the method used for calculating CFSE is something like this. Uh, you can consult any book for this. Now, for this question, uh, you can see from here that this is uh, the iron in plus 3 would be D5 configuration and zinc plus 2 would be D10. The CFSE for both of them, uh, for these two is 0. So, we, do, uh, we cannot judge whether it is a normal spinal or an inverse spinal from its. CFSE value but we know that the size of Fe plus 3 is greater than the size of Zn2 plus therefore the smaller Zn2 plus would be occupying the smaller tetrahedral void Zn2 plus is smaller and it will occupy the smaller tetrahedral void hence this would result in a normal spinal let us suppose if the size of these two was almost same then this would result in the formation of mixed spinal as in this in this case the manganese is in plus 2 oxidation state the iron is in plus 3 oxidation state both are d5 in this case the size of iron plus 3 and the size of manganese plus 2 are almost same so this would result in the formation of a mixed spinal okay now let us come to question number 4 in this case see the magnesium is not a transition metal it is a non transition metal hence for all non transition metals the CFSE is 0 in the case of Fe plus 3 it is a D5 configuration and the CFSE is still 0 hence the CFSE for both the metals is 0 in this case the size of magnesium plus 2 is bigger therefore the uh, plus 2 is bigger therefore it, it will occupy the bigger octahedral voids and it would result in the formation of inverse spinals why? Fe plus 3 is smaller so the plus 3 cation is now occupying the smaller tetrahedral voids so it would be inverse spinal 
I know I'm going very fast but you need to first have a good command over this that there are basically two concepts first concept for inverses for normal spinals the plus two would occupy the tetrahedral void the plus three would occupy the octahedral void and the first concept was uh, we will see from the CFSC if the CFSC for both of them if, if the CFSC for the complexes is zero then we will come to this method now uh, the only exception to this method is the CO3O4 this is a very favorite question for both net and gate in this case when we calculate the CFSC we will find it to be an inverse spinal but this is not the case this is a normal spinal the reason for that is that uh, cobalt in plus 3 oxidation state is an exception because it for in plus 3 oxidation state cobalt forms low spin complexes even with the weak field ligands that is responsible for the exceptional behavior of this spinal so now some additional uh, information that in some previous year questions a question was asked about the spin lattice parameter so you should know for normal spinals the spin lattice parameter is zero for inverse spinals the spin lattice parameter is half so the value of a spin lattice parameter is between this it is denoted by lambda uh, there are other representations like normal spinals are also represented as this this means the plus two cation is occupying tetrahedral void and the plus three cation is occupying octahedral void this is for normal spinal this is your inverse spinal or mixed spinals but I want to discuss one more question that was asked in gate this year so see this uh, in I, I have already discussed this question in my earlier video but since I am discussing the concept let us do it one more time see in this complex the option uh, we were asked in the inverse spinal structure of AB204 a and B are so the correct answer here was Ni plus 2 and gallium plus 3 the reason being the gallium is a non transition metal therefore the CFSC for this would be 0 for nickel the CFSC would the mod of CFSC would be 1.2 delta naught since the CFSC value for nickel plus 2 is greater therefore it would be occupied uh, the, the mod of CFSC for plus 2 is greater therefore it would be an inverse spinal hence the correct answer would be this and you can uh, also judge from by putting by calculating the CFSC and applying this condition on B C and D options so that's enough for this video thank you for watching